Welcome back to West Texas, folks. I have sorted the problem we had with the anhydrous. I think it was a typo in the modifications that I'd made to the map, not following the instructions properly, and then not, well, following the instructions, but not saving them properly. So I think we have that working. So the first thing we're going to do today is get the magnum running on some tillage. So let's get, I've got a course saved here, so we'll get that loaded up, get that in the right settings, get that started. Didn't seem to want to start the first time. And that's probably about the right amount of nitrogen to be adding, so we'll go first waypoint. And we're just going to leave him to run. At some point we need to sort out adding some lime into this field too. But he's just going to work on that, and if he gets that done, we'll move him over to field six while we work on sorting out some animals today. So over here we have the Fent 500. It's not a 300, as I kept calling it, with its front loader on, waiting, uh, and the truck, which we're going to take over to the store to buy some bales of hay so we can feed the cows that we're going to buy. This is going to take a while, so this is going to jump into a time lapse, and I will see you back at the store. store try to keep to the back roads as much as possible because we're in a fairly slow tractor cut through a neighbor's pig farm which you will have seen so we have a few things that we need to buy we need to get a bale spike for the tractor and we're going to go with my favorite lizard claw with forks we'll buy that we need a bale trailer so we'll buy that and let's get those out of the way and then we're going to buy a big stack of hay bales But the plan is that this won't be an epic hour-long video like the last one. That was kind of unintentional. The plan is today that we will be getting about the first 300 cows that we want. leave the trailer there I have the large stacks of bales mod installed and we're going to go for a full stack of 30 which is a rather expensive nearly $19,000 and that's really annoying because over here the shop very handily have
a nice big wheel load for us to load the bales up. But it's designed to pick up six bales, and now we have five. We will just have to adapt. Good job I brought the fence over with the front loader on it. So I'm going to get all these bales loaded up in a time lapse because it will take me a while and I will see you back down at the farm I think. Catch you in a bit. back down at the farm I found out this trailer is very tippy that's why I'm only doing 14 miles an hour to roll into the yard and because in between I've been filming something else we'd switched to pounds I don't know if I said I tend to film this West Texas series in little blocks as I get time I think I said that in the first episode. But because it's different how I film time lapse videos, time lapse videos I can sit and film on my laptop uh, watching TV with my wife. These I cannot, so. I've not actually decided where we're going to try and store these bales yet. The Magnum's nearly done on field four. We'll then move over to field six. But after a bit, or oh, actually going to cut through the farm here. After a bit of pondering, we are going to go for corn. Not corn. We're going to do corn this year, obviously. We need silage. We are going to go for cotton this year. We're going to do cotton in field 12. Hopefully as a big injection of cash towards the end of the year. means we're going to need to lease a big cotton harvester which is not cheap but field 12 should yield quite a lot of cotton uh, you see what I mean about it being tippy so the other problem we've got is because we loaded these bales with the wheel loader they're kind of the wrong way round But I think my plan is to stick them into one of the bays here. So if we park this truck here, we will jump back in the fence. Take that off, follow me. And uh, we might need to, again, I play on keyboard. I think I've said that. 
and for bail loading I need to make some small changes sometimes so I'm wondering if we'll be able to pick up six bales with this A bit like the bale loading, once I've made a start, we'll jump into a time lapse to get this done. It might take me a little while, and I would really like to get to buying the cows. strap and that strap okay let's try all of the straps or is it just that it's too heavy I think it's actually just that it's too heavy Means we're going to need to try and pick up three at a time. So the nice thing is, I'm hoping that we only need to buy bales from the store like this once, um, because. It feels like this is not going to be pretty. Anyway, time to jump in to a time lapse of this. So I will be back when this is done. So we're almost done with unloading the bales. I'm going to be a bit adventurous with these last four and see if we can pick them up as one go. We can just about. We need to get a bigger weight for this. Lifting four bales is something we're going to be doing quite a lot, trying to get feed into the cattle, I think, so. Not being able to lift four bales is a bit of a problem. That might actually just be because we're picking them up the wrong way. And you will have seen that I switched to using the wheel skid steer loader. Um, and using these two in tandem. I ended up not time lapsing all of that because I suspect switching between the two was probably a bit messy. We'll see when we come to the edit as to how much of it made it in. and whilst I was doing this the Magnum finished in field 4 so it's now working in field 6 that's just picking those up so maybe it was just that the bales were the wrong way around not the neatest bale shed in the world got to admit but it will do and it will be hopefully as I said the last time that we need to buy bales from the store fact uh, I just want to check where we are with grass growth um, because we have obviously we have this area here down by the house and all of the area up around field 12 but it's still only in its early stages of growth so we're gonna have to wait a while for that 
So now I guess the uh, the important bit, actually buying some cows. Um, so we need to go and grab the cattle trailer. I will show the first load and then because my plan is to buy six loads of cows hopefully I will then just kind of uh, show you the end result I think because it's going to take a little while particularly as although I thought I'd set up auto drive on here it doesn't seem to have loaded in with this save so. And already the uh, the trailer park is getting a little messy. That will be a job to sort off camera, I think. Getting the cows on day one of season is going to be really good. Obviously, we have to wait three quarters of a year for them to start producing milk. Slightly annoying, but obviously realistic. Probably need to not be doing 60 as I drive out of the farm. This truck sounds so good. We've got a bit of tidying up to do in field 4. Tempted to pick up a small cultivator to do those corner bits that are messy. Rather than trying to drive the... Uh, big cultivator into the corners like that uh, realistically are we going to get them with the cedar probably not so like last time i think i will time lapse the trip over to the animal dealer it's very similar to the trip to the store just with an earlier turning depending on how long it takes me i guess uh, actually I don't think it's going to take long particularly as we can go a bit faster with the animal tra empty animal trailer on the back uh, so this complex here as I think I covered in the first video which is actually due to drop in about two hours time is the potato and sugar beet sell point probably not going to be doing potatoes and sugar beets on here watching or listening to one of Farmton Guy's streams where he was talking about setting up West Texas a lot of the Americans that were in the stream didn't well they didn't mention root crops they were talking more about things like cotton and corn which obviously we're doing uh, grains which we'll be doing um, and then things like peanuts which we can't do I'm pretty sure we'll move on to doing sour gum at some point as that's a new crop on here for me yeah, that wasn't too long to get down here. Oh, I do love the sound of this truck. Looks pretty good with the animal trailer on the back. Oh, I hope they're still open. Dolt. They are only open until four, which is really annoying as it's now quarter to six or five forty-five. I don't think Americans do quarter two timings, so it looks like we're going to head back to the farm. In fact, actually, we might just park up in here for the night and. Uh, I will see you back here in the morning I think because yeah the goal of today is to buy cows and we can't buy cows today so in a matter of mere seconds you will see me back and it will be 10 o'clock in the morning probably so it turns out the uh, owner of the animal dealer was still here and he was more than happy to open up for us as they have a bunch of animals they want to try and shift um, and they knew we were new to the area uh, so they've been really helpful and uh, we can buy our cows today which is awesome so while we're just driving in we have a grain cell point just there um, and a bale cell point just in there I can't imagine us 
selling many bales. And then over here we uh, can load up with our first load of cattle. So we are going for whole stones, obviously. Um, the other option is air shears, which are quite a lot cheaper, but produce pretty much half the, the amount of milk. Uh, and milk is obviously the big income, so we're going for Holsteins. They're cheaper than I thought. I thought they were actually 3,000 each. Um, I'm obviously confusing them with the beef breeds. So let's fill the trailer up. Um, we may end up buying more at this rate because I was expecting to spend about 900,000. Uh, so $110,000 for the first load going in. Let's get ourselves back down to the farm. So he's, he's agreed to stay open until 8 to help us out. So how many loads we will get done before then, I'm not sure. Probably everything we want for today. love the sound of this truck. It has that Jake brake sound just right. Some of them I find it's way too loud. It's jumping cab. Really nice detailed cab too. Break. That's not a nice ride for the cows in the back. I forgot about that little junction there. So something I've noticed is a lot of the fields have huge headlands around them. I assume that's an American thing where you guys have loads of land, unlike in the UK where we tend to farm absolutely everything possible. Looks like George has knocked off for the night. Yes, he's over here with us visiting. Can't say I blame him. It's been a pretty long first day for everyone. I guess he'll crack on with that field in the morning. And tomorrow morning as well, we'll be breaking out the cedar, getting some, probably some triticale planted. So my plan here is to use the first three pens that we have. So initially putting a hundred in each. Obviously that may change now we can buy more. So we'll just drive down the feed alley. The gate for this one is actually across the other side near the uh, where we stack the bales. So we've had the, uh, the plumber come in and fix the water points as well on this side.
So if you're playing on this map, you might find it difficult to unload into this pen. Um, I found that I had to move the uh, animal trigger down slightly. It's just a bit too high for the uh, trailer to work with. But there we go, the first 56 cows on the farm. Now, obviously, we're not going to have any straw to give them for a while. We will just quickly give them some water. And we'll drop some hay in as well. And then I will off camera i think go and get the other five loads of cows that we want to get in today i might leave it at that for today anyway even though we can afford more and then maybe next time we will get a few more going maybe if i can get auto drive running properly we can uh, have the truck running auto drive in the background shuttling cows over for us that would be kind of cool So the feed alley and therefore the feed points run down here so we should hopefully see a bale disappear any second there we go and we'll put that second one in and how does that do us uh, we are cow pen six um, not much they'll need more but we're going to put in at least one more trailer load into here and then I think we'll worry about getting them uh, fed. They only need to give them... Ignore that. I did not crash. We only need to make sure they've got enough feed to last the night. And then we can feed them properly in the morning. So yeah. We are just going to do a bunch of runs backwards and forwards now. Filling up these three cow pens each. With it'll be 112 cows each. Um, and then I'll be back. So catch you in a little while. Okay, this is the last load. We have done five loads. It's taken way too long. I've been feeding the cows in between. Something I found that's kind of tricky, apart from my really bad driving, that's what happens when you look at OBS as you try and take a corner pure pure professionalism so as I was saying what I found which is slightly annoying is that if you try and feed bales because you drive down a central feed alley it's kind of tricky to get the food in the right animal pen so we have a lot of food in one, a little bit of food in another, and I haven't yet fed the cows that are going into this last pen. So what I've done is I've loaded up the Anderson feed mixer with hay. Although we plan to sell it, we're now going to have to sell it ever so slightly used, just so I can target where we put the feed. Also, the bales are not going to last very long. I think I have, now with what I've got loaded up in the feed mixer, used about half of the bales that we've brought, and it's not a lot of food. We very, very quickly need the grass to grow, and what we may end up doing, I am assuming, because these cows are not on grass, is that seasons won't graze them. Um, so what we might do is, I can't remember what they call it over here. Uh, it, it was on a, a YouTube video that I watched from a guy in the UK called Cow Farmer Dan. And basically we will hook the front mower up to the Magnum. We will put the loading wagon on the back and we will go around and cut a load of grass and dump it in the feed troughs. Or 
Oh, this is going so well. If you're still watching, um, thanks for hanging in there. I have no idea how long this video has become. Um, and you're seeing a truly awesome example of professional driving here. Let's just give it a bit of gas. There we go. That's good enough for me. But although we have spent two thirds of what I intended to spend on actually buying the animals, I'm now slightly worried about feeding them. Right, we're going to leave that there. Let's jump out and close the gate to these guys' enclosure and give them some water. You stay there. And I'm actually going to run down and do all of the waters because we've been adding animals since I put water in. We'll then give that last pen some hay. And I suspect next episode I'll be panicking about feeding cows. Obviously next episode, as I've mentioned, I'm hoping to get some cow in the ground so we can get straw as well. So they all have water going in. Jump in the massy. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I must have not fully loaded the trailer on that one. Okay, that's weird. Um, so this pen has a lot of hay this pen has not much hay this pen has zero hay so we're going to start at the far end I put six bales in here I think Obviously, filming this in the dark is, again, proper pro YouTuber stuff. The cows need feed, and then we can call an end to the day. I think it's been a successful day. Mixed. Okay, let's call it a mixed day. Um, we crashed a few times. As in, I crashed vehicles, not the game crashing. Um, but big win, the cows were much cheaper. Negative, we need a lot more feed. Um, so I want to check that we are tipping on the left. Did that go in the right one? It did. Cool. So that is a quarter of a bar, so that should get them through the night at least. We have serious feed problems. So I wonder which one this is going to go into. Probably this one. It's going in. It's, yep. I think we'll dump the rest of this in here. Maybe not. So they've got 13,000. They've got 27,000 litres. And they've got 14,000. So yeah, let's dump the rest in here. So let's just have one last check. So they all have water. They have some feed. They are all clean. I think we'll make it through the night we have our first cows on the farm so thank you for watching everyone hopefully you've enjoyed this 
uh, if you have leave a like whatever enjoyed it or not please leave me a comment i really need feedback on these videos and i will catch you next time where we will panic about cow food catch you later